Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where I'm actually in a private server and I'm doing solos. Basically, this base is 100% built from scratch. No assistance, um, well, little assistance with like driving wood around and stuff like that, but no donations, no given presents, no, like everything's legit um, mine that I bought myself and did all on my own. So um, we have purchased a couple of presents already. And what I can do is I can just set these up real quick. Oh gosh, why is that? Oh, I still got shift lock on from yesterday. <laughs> there we go. We can set these up real quick. And then we need to go purchase more presents. But in order to purchase presents, I'm gonna need money. So we might have to go and do some uh, some ice wood. But I will make this the next couple of videos. Um, that way we can uh, put some presents on this base as well without assistance. So I can, I, I can show you that you don't have to exploit to get presents and you don't have to exploit to get uh, money in games and stuff like that. So um, I tried going into a couple of servers in public mode. Just I can't find a server without an exploiter in it. So we're just going to have to play on private servers, which is kind of dumb. It's it's really, really heartening, disheartening, dis disheartening, disheartening. <laughs> Um, just because I can't go and play with fans and that sucks so uh, I'm hoping Roblox does something about it eventually it's just a toxic community no offense to people who do exploit but it's toxic stop exploiting I don't care if you're trying to do it for a good reason or if you're trying to justify it there's no good reason you're, oh, code, I, I helped the economy by giving out the presents to the people. No, you're hurting the economy because now you're making items that should be worked for, that, that people have worked really hard for, accessible to everyone. You're doing drops and stuff like that. What is going on here? Why? Oh, wow. Okay. So I need to turn that on, and then I need to turn it off, and then I should be able to go back over to settings. Huh. Look at that. A new kind of bug. So if you go over... To settings turn it on you hit shift lock then you hit escape settings turn it back off you get stuck in this first person mode just like if it were shift lock and shift lock does not turn it off so it's a bit of a bug turn it off settings off there we go so all right uh, let's go and, you know, I haven't been in an exploiting community around exploiters who haven't gotten toxic. It's just, it's in the nature of that environment, you know? And it's not that they're bad people. It's not that they're uh, evil. I don't want to, I don't want to, that's so strong of a word. Not evil. You're not evil. Okay. How much are these things? Gosh, uh, 129. Okay, I should be able to buy... One, two, three, four, five, six. Basically, I'm just doing hopscotch because that way they all have the same grab times on them and they shouldn't disappear. But then I can start just picking them up like that, which over the course of like picking up all the presents anyway and putting them up here, it would be about the same amount of time. It doesn't save time, it's just a different distribution of time. That's all. And my microphone's all messed up for some reason. Huh. Uh, it did say I had a new default microphone. Oh gosh, am I recording out of the right microphone? Oh gosh, settings, hold on. Audio, yeah, it's coming out of the Yeti. Yeti. For those of you that don't know, I have a, um, uh, a blue Yeti microphone. That's the one that I use to do my recordings and stuff like that. Sounds crisp, sounds awesome and amazing. I love it. It's the same one that I've had ever since my first YouTube check. And yes, uh, I spent my first YouTube check on this microphone because before then I had a little blue microphone. It was horrible. It was meant for like um, conference calls and call centers and stuff like that, but it was free. Oh, also, if you uh, if you know anybody that works in IT, 
Ask him about their throwaway palette. Ask him about the, the palette of throwaway stuff. Because a lot of big companies, a lot, a lot of, uh, hold on, how much are these? 29,500 for one of these? Okay, we're gonna have to go get some ice. <laughs> we have to go see what the ham bones are worth as well. 29,000 for the goo. That's like an entire tree, an entire ice tree. Tell you what, we'll go, we'll go get the other presents first and then uh, we'll come back to these. Boop. And should be able to just line these up real quick. Oh gosh. Hello, somebody messaged me. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Should we do uh, lava wood instead? I think lava wood would be faster. I, I think I can do a lava run in about 15 minutes, whereas uh, ice runs take me about 30. And you get about the same, about 15 to 20,000 per ice run, if you do it correctly. Um, should I get a trailer? Hmm. I should go get a trailer. But I'm not going to. I'm just, I'm just gonna run it. Just run it out, see how we do. We're only six minutes into the video anyway, so. Got plenty of time. It's coming down to it. We uh, we are having Christmas Eve on Friday, and time is quickly approaching. Hope you guys have lots of presents under your tree. If if you do presents and trees and stuff like that, I don't want to stomp on anybody's religions or, or beliefs, but if you have presents, I hope you have a lot of them, and I hope they're all under a big awesome tree. I'm excited. I've got presents under that tree and I'm, I'm like, I gotta open them. What's funny is, uh, I know all the presents I'm going to get just because like my wife asked me, she's like, Hey, what do you want? And I'm like, all right. So we pick stuff out and we're like, okay, you can't have it until Christmas. So then, um, I forget about them. So on Christmas morning, it's like a big surprise. <gasps> oh yeah. <laughs> Yay. I got presents. I, I completely forget it. I don't know. But make cookies, put out some milk, stuff like that. We're going to do, um, let's see, I think we're doing baking on Thursday. So. Oh, by the way, I need to purchase an oven for my wife. Um, our oven went out about five months ago and We've been without an oven, which is okay. I mean, we can we can survive without one. We've got other means of cookery. We got like, um, or the air fryers and microwaves, stoves, stuff like that. But we need to get an oven. Should start a GoFundMe page. <laughs> Buy my wife an oven. No, GoFundMe pages are for like real emergencies and, and times of extreme need, stuff like that. Medical emergencies. Now, I, I guess you could start one for any reason, but that's more, like, if you're looking to start a business or something like that, that's more of a Kickstarter program. That's what you do with a Kickstarter, not GoFundMe. Skills. Landed it. Like a boss. All right. I was going to cut this thing up and throw it on there, but I think I'm just going to take the whole thing. Ooh, ooh, come on. Let's go that direction. Good, 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 good. Now this one I'm not going to be able to move, so we're just going to have to jimmy rig it around. Oh gosh. Come on. Tilt it this way. Here we go. Turn, 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 turn. There you go. That's not right. Hold on. Let's lift it from this end. Ready? And I've been meaning to play more VR over on Zero Decaf Coffee. A lot of you were asking about the link and hey code, where's where's the second channel? It's Zero Decaf Coffee. Make sure you spell it right. Um, I think I've got it linked on my channel itself, but again, it's not family friendly. So you have been warned. 
I will give warnings. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It just popped right up there. I'll run this one down, come back up for the other one. Man, I remember you. That I used to do the lava runs all the time. Like, that was legit an entire week of just lava runs to try and get uh, enough money for... I think it was the uh, ostrich eyes. Back when I didn't have a bunch of fans just giving me tons of money, which I don't mind at all. That's your that's your way of gifting. If you can't gift um, donations or if you can't um, do the live stream stuff, you know, I always accept gifts. Even like when it's obvious that there's some exploiting that's been going on, I will still accept gifts. Because I don't want to be that person that's like, Oh, you're exploiting! Like, I have to physically see that you've, you're flying around, or you're base dropping, or what, whatever the case may be. I, I hate accusing people, because I've been accused. People look at my, my number one base and they're like, Code's an exploiter. Code exploit. I don't. I have not exploited since, like, high school. And I'm 40. So it was, like, over 20 years ago. 20, 21 years. Wow. Wow. The time is flying. Oh, no. I'm going to have to do um, smaller pieces. Dang it. This isn't even the big one, is it? Is this the big one? This isn't the big one. Huh. Don't I have the big one somewhere? Maybe not. Maybe I should concentrate on building up my base before trying to go after uh, big presents. Lots of prices. Everything's gotta go! Come on down to Woods R Us. Say hello to Tom. Hello! Tom works 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And never gets a break. Boink. For those of you asking how I did that, this is an old trick. Move the, the saw, grab the piece, and put it right where it would come out normally, and it will transfer. Do not hit B until that thing is done, otherwise you will get a glitched plank. And I might just do that to show you guys what, what it means to glitch a plank. Come on, come on. There we go. Here. I'll uh, I'll do it with a little piece of oak that you guys can see. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One more. Alright, so if you do it too fast, hopefully I can I can hit this as fast as it goes. Boom. Oh no. Too fast. <laughs> so that that was still legit. It worked. Oh here, here, here. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'll turn down the uh, the width and stuff. Come on, chop, chop, chop. All right. So I'll turn this down. Turn this one down as well. There we go. So. If you're doing this glitch and you hit B too quickly, like you don't let it finish, it'll still come out, but now it's super glitched. Like, can't grab it glitched. See what I mean? So, don't do that. If you're going to use the, the glitch plank technique, be sure to, um, to hit B after the plank is finished. Now I'm going to try this one. I don't know if it's going to work. I think this piece might be too long. Maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Skills. <laughs> nice. And B. Now let's go drive back up and get that other piece of wood, just so we uh, don't lose it, because it does have a timeout feature on it. 
any loose wood that you cut okay so there's this this different folder layer module whatever you want to call it that grows the trees okay once you cut a tree basically it is no longer an anchored model and it creates two different models it creates um a model that's like basically replicated of the tree itself like the tree that you cut is not the tree that falls down it's a replication of the tree it like redraws the tree if that makes sense same thing happens with the wood so like this one tree this is one model of a tree it has branches and trunk leaves stuff like that well not leaves leaves fall off whenever you cut it uh, chop it down but this right here ooh. oh my gosh thing is massive all right there we go bump 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 oh I hope that stays Oh, come on. Come on. Be game. It's not working. Oh, balance. In a world, one man balances perfectly. Don't know how it worked, but it worked. I just gotta be careful with my my turns, my breaking. That's like wedged in there. Dang it! It was working so well too. Okay, hold on. There we go. What in the world was that? <laughs> Don't know how it's working, but it's working. Oh gosh, oh gosh, there we go. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, 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 okay. Don't hit the sides, code. Don't hit the sides. My nose is itchy. Just use gravity to coast it down, coast it down. We're only 18 minutes, and I've already got two lava trees down here. Nice. Probably could have done the. I probably could have done this a lot quicker. <laughs> Would love to have an oversized car. To pick up big massive trees like this or maybe a big heavy piece of machinery that is literally for c carrying logs of trees like could you imagine having a harvester and having it go over to the pine area the pines and fur area tangenia the targan the tartar sauce the snow snowy biome the ice biome I guess the ice biome and the snow biome are two different biomes, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. All right, let's see if this works. I think it's too big. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a big piece. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Nice. I'm surprised that worked. I, d I did not expect that to work. That was a big lava. Faster, faster, faster. Thank you. Boom. 
So, um, sitting around talking with uh, RHG the other day. By the way, congratulations to RHG for picking up Developers Council and being one of the members of my Discord who can now um, make judgment calls on people's code and modeling skills and can give you ranks. That's right. So, congratulations. Happy birthday to Red Guy, I think. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear red guy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. And then uh, I think Jingle's birthday is right around the corner, or it's already happening. I don't remember which. But happy birthday to you as well, buddy. Um. What was I saying? Talking with RHG the other day, he has been in the Discord since 2017, in which case he was, uh, let's see, he was in eighth grade when he first joined. But now he's through his first semester of college, which congratulations, by the way. Dude, that makes me feel old. An old familiar face showed up the other day, Star Guy. Star Guy had a little brother who would scream in the microphone, Hi Code Primate! Hi Code Primate! Just this little bitty voice, little brother, right? Star Guy and Tim both are big fans and came into the Discord the other day. He's like, Hey Code, what's up? Dude, what happened? It's so so good to know that like I may have influenced you in some way and e even if I haven't you know I'm happy to have been here thank you for being here thank you for watching my videos thank you for listening to what I had to say hopefully I made a difference hopefully I didn't scar anybody but it just gave me a big insight into my channel and what I do. You know? I want to give you the best day that you can. That, that you can have. And if you're having a bad day, I want to change that and I want you to have a good day. And I don't want it to be happy all the time. Because happiness is a state of being. It's not a constant. It's, it's an emotion. Just like sad. Sad and happy are emotions. It's not a way to live. Happy all the time will lead to destruction. Just saying. It's good to be bored. If you're bored, that means your mind has the chance to think and to wonder and to imagine of what it's like not to be bored. <laughs> and it's, it's good to... It's good to cry. You know, it's it's good to get your emotions out. And don't get me wrong, I am 40 years old and there are some days where I just want to watch, um, what is it, Restoring Faith in Humanity videos. If you've never seen some of those, those are heart-wrenching. Like, uh, I, I can't go into details of them, but Literally, it, they, I'm like, ah! I just got to cry at him, you know, and it, it feels good. It feels good to get a good cry in. And yes, men cry and girls fart. <laughs> Every girl that watches my videos is like ah! exposed at the moment. You know, they poop too, right? I've also found that um, during stressful situations or during sad situations, Laughter does help. Like, <sighs> I know it sounds mean, but it's good to laugh at a funeral. Not laugh at the situation, but it's good to laugh and enjoy the other's companies, knowing that they're going through the same thing. And if you've lost anybody to COVID, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about this disease and... I couldn't imagine having this whenever I was growing up. I can't imagine what my kids are going through. 
you know. And yes, I have gotten the vaccination. Uh, I'm looking into getting the booster, and I do want to get the booster. Oh, and by the way, PAX East is going on. It's going to be com coming up here in April. So if you know what PAX is, it's Penny Arcade Exchange which basically means a bunch of role-playing games, a bunch of RPGs, a bunch of consoles and PC video games. It's just, it's a big nerd conference and I love it so much. This year, I, uh, I am trying to get my family to go with me. Uh-oh, did I, did I, oh, I did. I hit B too quickly on that one, didn't I? Dang it, can't grab it. That's the thing that I was talking about. I hope these don't explode when I go to try and take off. Hoping for the best. It's a lot of wood, Code. A lot of wood. Hopefully we can get at least one slime present before the night's over. I don't know that this is going to be 29,000 though. Was it 29,000 or 209,000? I can't remember. <clears throat> Here, we're gonna stick this one sideways, so. And then just toss the rest in. We did a good job of stacking, we don't need to worry about the rest stacking. Um, here, I have an idea. Here, hold on, close that. Um, back this up a little bit, there you go. Move. Rotate, rotate, rotate. There I go. Move. Oh, come on, code. Just build. Okay. Is that short enough? Yeah, this should work. Okay. So now, we should... Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh! It bucked the whole thing. Alright. Let's push this back out of the way. Push this this way. Come on. Get out of there. Push. Push. Push, 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 push. There we go. And grab. Now, should I back up a little bit? I should back up a little bit. There we go. It's as far back as it goes. I bet I could put one more ramp on there, but let's just do this. Hopefully that'll work. There we go. Good deal. All right, here we go. Man, that's a lot of redwood. Not quite a full load, but... should sell off. 4,409. Did it not sell? Okay, that's weird. I don't want to mess up the others, so come over here. So the reason I accelerate and then jump out is so it does this. On. It didn't do it. That was weird. Those should go. 4409. Nice. There they go. I 
have an idea. Did that push him far enough? It did not. So push him a little bit more. Push, 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 push. Smart code. GG. I don't think I'm going to have enough. Dang it. Sixteen, eighteen, eighteen thousand. Dang it. What was it again? It was like twenty nine thousand. Well, I'm almost there. Almost there. 29500 Almost $30,000 for that thing. Alright. Well, it's not enough time to do it tonight, but thank you, Tom, for being here as always. <laughs> Anytime, Code. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, only if you want to. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. <laughs>